uh, so guys, you both play super important historical figures. One happens to be a titular character as well. Um, do you guys mind giving, you know, in your own words, character descriptions, Marco and, and Khan? Marco Polo. This common guy and 17 years old, he decided to just get a walk and reach Mongolia. And uh, so, yes, as he walking, he went with his father. He went through all the all Asia to meet the most powerful man on earth, Kublai Khan. And I'm playing Kublai Khan, who's the, the grandson of Genghis Khan, mm -hmm. the uh, ruler of the Mongol Empire, the, the, the Silk Road. Okay, cool. And so I'm going to throw you guys a super hard on the spot question. Um, you guys play very important historical characters. If you were going to play any other historical character in any other show, who would you want to play? Leonidas. Ooh, okay. Who? Leonidas. Go back to study. <laughs> what about you? I don't know. I know it's not easy. I'm happy with playing Kublai Khan, actually. Okay. Yeah, yeah I, I, would, I would say he's one of the... Yeah. Yeah. I mean, quite frankly, you know, someone who was the the ruler of a fifth of the landmass of the world, and the 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 things that he did within his uh, his time, you know, permeates through uh, the 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 world that we live now. Yeah. You know, the things that he did that Marco Polo had documented had inspired Christopher Columbus to go yeah. find K Kublai Khan. He didn't. He, he discovered America. So you don't get much better than that guy. Well, yeah. yeah I think he'd be too bad to think yeah. about anything else. Let's, let's talk about, I heard your um, workout regimen was the most ridiculous thing I've ever heard in my life leading up to it. Can you give us the short version of how you killed yourself? It was just, it was just crazy. It was just madness. I mean, when I first stepped there, I was, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm a smoker and I love to drink. So, oh, yeah. you know, I'm a normal guy. Yeah, yeah, of course, yeah. I'm, a th I'm also an athletic guy. I did a lot of sports, but you know, I've been, I stepped for the first time in this, we have this tent in the, in the middle of the studios. The okay. dojo. The dojo, wow. training every day. Every yeah. day someone was training there. If you're not shooting, you're training. No, wow. no matter what. And yes, well, you, for the first six weeks, before we start shooting, I had to do from like, the training started at eight until 12.30, just physical. So weight, bushu, there's like kung fu and sword fighting. Okay. Then on the afternoon, I have to go to the stable and do horse riding and then archery. And then from like six to eight, English, because I didn't know English before this Oh show. my God, really? That's you just got into English for this? Yeah. That's yeah. pretty incredible. So, so yes, if you see the show, it's, it's, we shot it chronologically. So it's beautiful because at the beginning I was scared. But now, yeah. if you see the story, you see at the beginning this guy that is, talks this uh, dirty English with a strong Italian accent and at the end of it. It's pretty fluent, so it becomes a strength of the character. Wow, that's an incredible story. I had no idea about that. And um, what about the, the locations were pretty amazing, right? I mean, you, you probably shot in all of them. I know, yeah. Were mm -hmm. you mostly Mongolia? Yeah, we, we filmed in um, uh, Venice, Kazakhstan, and, um, and uh, Malaysia. Yeah, mm. that's amazing. I mean, that must add something to, you know, for fans for the back. It's we, incredible. Right? When you go, and we, when we went to uh, um, Kazakhstan, we flew into Almaty, we drove five hours out of the city where roads no longer became roads and yeah. we were just in these verdant hills surrounded by mountains just having these epic battle scenes. Wow. Um, yeah. It was a journey. It was a real adventure for mm. all of us. Yeah. I mean, we shot the journey of Marco Polo. And you walked and the whole thing, right? Yeah, the yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah, we were there. <laughs> and it was incredible. And when I was in Venice the first day and I saw the massive production occupying two squares, three bridges, and in Venice, you know, it's like almost impossible to shoot there because right. the permissions are. Then I, I was there in the middle of it, and I was in the center, I was like, oh, right. And I understood the scope of it, that is massive.